Charlotte. Another great day outside. Took a walk earlier this morning and it is hard to complain. A little bit stickier though as dew points are currently sitting in the mid 60s to lower 60s across the state line. Temperatures are near that 80 degree mark state line wide with the exception of Galena as they are only at 76 degrees and there is a very good reason for it. First and foremost, let's talk about winds. They are currently out of the south anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. But the reason why they are a little bit cooler, well they've had a good, a good amount more cloud cover as a low pressure system is approaching the state line here according to our Rocky Rikia Max Storm Track. Still seeing a few lower level clouds here and there, but off toward the west. Well, here's kind of the bulk of the system that's making its way toward the east. Now, granted, with this rain, not expecting it to sustain here too much longer. Instead, in its place, we'll start to see a gradual increase in cloud cover as we go throughout the afternoon. I think that will top out near 84, 85 degrees. Still a good day to get outside and enjoy the good weather while we have it, because as we head toward the overnight hours, that's when the low pressure system starts making its impact for us when it comes to the precipitation precipitation side. Now with this, I do expect a few rounds of showers, maybe a few thunderstorms here and there, but I don't expect anything on the strong or severe side overnight tonight. Worst case scenario, there's a loud boom from a thunder from a lightning bolt that could maybe jar us awake, but no, ex, uh, no severe weather is expected at least overnight tonight. As we get into the morning hours, do th I would recommend having that umbrella as you're heading out the door as there's still a few scattered rain chances, but by the time we get toward the afternoon, I do expect us to be on the sunnier side. But as we get towards the evening, a cold front is set to make its way through. I want to switch to the high resolution forecast model as I think it's getting a little bit better picture of what I anticipate as a line of showers and storms are expected when it comes to tomorrow evening. And this is after the sun sets as there will be plenty of moisture and with that sunshine, even later on, still a good amount of instability on in our atmosphere, meaning we could see some strong severe to severe storms as we are currently in a slight two out of five risk for those strong severe storms. And with tomorrow, I do think hail and winds are going to be our primary threat, but can't rule out a stray tornado here or there. But when it comes to winds near 70 miles per hour or up to and then hail at a half dollar in size. Luckily, though, Friday's looking a lot better compared to our Thursday. Still can't rule out maybe an isolated shower or maybe a storm here or there as that low pressure system continues its trek toward the east as we'll get a little bit of wrap around rain. But I think for most of us should be on the drier side with partly cloudy skies and our precipitation chances continue on into Saturday during the day. But I think maybe at least an isolated shower here or there. Otherwise, it's looking pretty nice here as we progress on through. So our good streak puts a brief pause for us here on Thursday as we could have those active storms. But after that, looking very pleasant, seeing plenty plentiful amounts of sunshine for us here on Sunday high 82 then 81 degrees on Monday then starting a little bit of a warmer trend on Tuesday with a high of 85 degrees. So overall still have some pleasant weather to look forward to but we have that little bit of a bump as we get into tomorrow as we'll keep track of those storm chances and those active storm chances at that. Jake. Absolutely. It's nice to see that we have hopefully a dry forecast coming up here after tomorrow and after tomorrow early yes. you know weekend Friday and Saturday as well. Yes. So DJ thank you so much for that update.